What? Hey guys, no here from the Emerald Minecart and welcome to another video. Now this video is basically the top 10 things of 2018. Which expect one of one of these every year, like before like a year ends. Like I might do a top 10 things of 2019 before 2020 comes, but that's going to be a while. So get ready for stuff. At number 10, we have Dear David. Now, if you never heard what Dear David is, it is this Twitter story that recently ended with no ending. Which, yeah. Which is basically about this guy who gets haunted by this a ghost. Believe me, I know this story might sound a little generic by that, but it's the first time I read this, I was act this actually terrified me. And heck, I even discovered it's getting a movie. And it's in production. Like, that is just... Wow, wow, wow Hollywood. Wow. But, okay. Well, Dear David did not scare me that much. The next thing on our list... Well... May have turned my butt into a diarrhea machine gun. At number 9 on our list, we have Momo. Now, if you're probably wondering, Noah, what is Momo? Well, hold on. Yeah, um, sorry guys if I did not put a warning up for the image. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, hold on. But, yeah... The image you just saw, that is what Momo looks like, and it's been appearing in some challenges, and yeah, that image, um, let's just say, let's just say that image turned my butt into a diarrhea cannon. That's how scary the image is, but no really, that image, that image actually made me jump the first time I saw it, like, seriously, my butt transformed. Transformer style into a diarrhea min into a diarrhea minigun, which, yeah. On to the next thing. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. My voice is still cracked or shattered beyond this point. I don't know, but yeah. At num at our number eight spot, to the we sadly lost Stanley in this year. He died at the age of 95. Now, I may not be a Marvel fan. I do like Marvel movies. Heck, I'm really excited. Heck, I really do feel really angry because how long we have to wait for Avengers 4 to come out. It's, it's just sad. Like, uh, it's also shocking how long he lived. Like, fun fact, I actually saw he was 150. But no, he was 95. Which, rest in peace, Stanley. If you're somehow watching this in heaven, then rest in peace. On to our next thing. <sighs> okay. Yes, I know. <sighs> now, I wish I did not add this on number 6. This was actually originally supposed to be an honorable mention, but this was how 2018 began to be to begin to start off terrible and it was a certain Logan Paul video that has been deleted which you guys which you guys might know what the video is it, it's it's kind of obvious it, it's pretty obvious and it's really the main reason it really does give China another reason why they hate us Americans. Because they might see us as more Logan Pauls. Now, yes, Jake Paul was even worse. Okay, yes, I know Logan Paul brought his brother Jake Paul, which, again, if you saw Jake Paul would not act as bad, well, he acted even worse. We may not have done the thing that Logan Paul did, but, like, jeez. Like, I kind of see why, why World War Three might happen one day. 
Well, actually, you know what? I hope that it doesn't, and I hope that we can all forget about this. I hope this video, I hope this, this part of the video does not remind anyone about it. Oh, this is the next one, baby! Yeah! Okay, next one. Now, this is a Sony movie. Not Sony Animations. I will never forgive them for releasing that certain movie. But Sony Pictures. The same Sony company who made the new Venom movie that I really want to see. And, yeah. So, if you haven't heard, they made a Slenderman movie, which is, for some weird reason, PG-13. Even when you watch the first trailer, if you saw my reaction video, that the trailer made the movie look like an R rating, at least. But no. PG-13. Now, some people think that this might start the, um... Wait, hold on. The CPCU, which is the Creepypasta Cinematic Universe. Now, yeah, it, it probably did. And if you think they haven't made a movie about the Rake Creepypasta, well, no. You can find it on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. And I didn't, and I never heard about it. Maybe, maybe they're just hyping up the Slenderman movie. But I wouldn't be shocked if they started the Creepypasta Cinematic Universe, also known as the CPCU. Maybe I can make a poster for that. And maybe if it didn't cause me to go to therapy after doing it. Actually, I would think I'd draw the poster because I don't want to go to the men a mental hospital. I don't want anyone to think I'm, um, well, you know. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, the next one! I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, guys. This one, this one was obvious, okay? I am, of course, talking about Fortnite. I, I, I mean, Fortnite. Now, yeah, yeah, I know what you guys are going to say. But, but no, but this came out. Came up in 2017. Well, don't even. It wasn't. This Fortnite was in YouTube Rewind 2018. So I, so I have my excuses. Which yeah, which I actually do love this game. I sadly miss out on the battle passes because I'm broke. Well, my parents were broke, but I'm broke. But hey, Christmas is coming soon. I need to get some V bucks so I can not miss out on this battle pass. I'm so mad at myself for missing out on the last battle pass. I really wanted that dire skin. <sighs> okay, okay, carrying on. Which, hold on. And yes, just like other games, it did get... Just like any other game, it got controversy. <sighs> hold on. Shut up. Okay. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. Ready, player one. One. Ready, player one. One. Okay, um, ready, player one. Yeah, I know. Th this one was obvious, okay? Or not that obvious, but this was one of my favorite movies of this year. Of the year. I could give this movie the award of best movie of the year. And. This might sound stupid, but I think I might have been referenced in the movie. Yeah, so leave your comments and saying, no way you are stupid. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I've been, some people told me worse things. I'm look, I'm looking at you, Lee Branson. Or Lee. But, um. Yeah. Um, Ray Blair 1 is awesome. So, the reason why I say the movie might have referenced me, because, okay, this might sound stupid, but here we go. So, in the certain part of the scene, like the epic battle, like, you see a group of Spartans from Halo. And one of them is a blue Spartan. And everyone knows that my avatar, not my channel avatar, but my game avatar, is a blue Spartan. And I have been looking through some, and I found a file that confirms that the Blue Spartan was, of course, named Noah. 
So yeah, either either this was a um, so yeah. Either this was a coincidence or either this was a coincidence or um Steven Spielberg is secretly a fan of my channel, which if that's the case, hi. Oh it's a, I think I just activated one of Steven Spielberg's fan feints. It may be fan feints, fan feints. Okay, um not fan feints, but uh, okay, moving on to the next one. Yes. You don't know what Playmobil mobile uh, I cannot say that word correct. If you don't know what Playmobile, Mo yeah, I'm just gonna say it like that. Playmobil is. It's basically, it's basically a knockoff Lego. Yeah, but my cousins Adrian and Claire. Not gonna say your last names, like I did with Lee, but Lee's a jerk to me, so yeah. Um, yeah, they like Playmobil. Mo mobile and I I'm actually really excited for this because this was actually confirmed somewhere in 2014 or 2015 maybe I I don't know I don't know um actually yeah I think 2015 because the Lego Movie came out in 2014 which that movie was awesome I don't care what some people say if it's bad I'm looking at you Ty but yeah. Which, I'm actually excited for this movie, which, has, I have heard, like, the first part will have some live action, then the rest of it will just be animated. Which, I was expecting this movie, actually. Like, I was expecting this, like, I actually thought the company who made this project, project, pr product just shut down. But they're not. They're still going. They're still standing. Yeah, they're still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll not go with that joke. But... I don't care. Okay, okay, so yeah. On to the... Okay, now on to the on roll... Okay, okay, so uh, before we go to the... Um, uh, hold on, what... Before we go to number one, let's go to the honorable mention. And the honorable mention, honorable mentions are YouTube Rewind, Rest in Peace Toys R Us, and Mortal Kombat 11 coming soon. Let's go on to number one. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if this game just worked? Wouldn't it be nice if it wasn't bad? Wouldn't it be nice if it wasn't glitchy? Because the only reason I want this game is the 200 collector's edition. I wish this game was not crap. Okay, guys. Okay. With all joking aside, uh, I am now talking about the now infamous... Fallout 76. <gasps> oh. Ah! Wait, wait, I have to say one thing, which, yeah, Fallout 76 has actually gotten a lot of hate, which, which there are obvious reasons why. Now, okay, this was probably the reaction, reactions of the original people who made the original fault of the original first two follow games ah! which believe me this is what I would do as well ah! <laughs> okay okay yeah with all joking aside um yeah this this game has got a lot of backlash which again the reasons are so obvious that, seriously, the reasons of why this game is, like, seriously, this game is so bad that the reasons why are, the reasons why it's bad are just so obvious. You can literally touch the reasons. And they're physical. And wet. And have Ty's face written on them. Which would be not, which would be my nightmare, but not anyone else's, but still. Seriously, this game is so bad like seriously i was expecting it to be like one of those 
like normal Bethesda game that gets a okay rating through seventy six or something. Like I if it did if it got like a normal rating like eh, I would have made a joke called Fallout seventy six. You should have just called this Fallout raid Fallout that's a rating for this game. But no, apparently the Metacritics. Apparently, people on Metacritic did not take this entry so good. And apparently, the PC port is somehow good. I've seen gameplay. And the console ports are not at all. And what just triggers me more is... They might have loot boxes in this game. Now, I despise these because I want Possess to go to go to the EA route, okay? And apparently like there's like one I'm gonna explain some of the controversies for this. Like another controversy is one of the bags that a canvas bag that was promised but it was replaced by something that looks like a trash bag someone puked on. AKA the AKA EA and it just like and then Bethesda did this thing where like you could just do this number thing and you could get a new one but like you could get the original canvas bag but what got even worse the support website apparently was also broken and people's data was leaked to the public which is not a good sign at all. And, heck, I've even heard that Bethesda is getting sued over this. And law lawyers have to be called or stuff that I don't feel like talking about in this thing, the 2018 video. But seriously, jeez. And apparently, the main reason of why the game is so buggy and glitchy is because... Hmm, let me think, yeah. It's been running on an engine that's been around since 2011. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that creates, yeah, um, hell, hell, hello, Bethesda. Um, quick notes. Yeah, that creation engine that you are using, yeah, that has been around since 2011. Oh, and another slap to the face and butt butt talks. Apparently, this engine cannot handle making a multiplayer game. Which is really the main reason why it's so buggy and glitchy and yada 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 yada. But, but hey. That's, that's probably what Bethesda is doing. You would, and I'm actually kind of scared now. Like, I'm actually scared of what state Elder Scrolls 6 or Starfield will come in. Like, seriously, they are also using the creation em engine. Again, real life, it's a 2011. It, again, it's been around since 2011. Which was before I even moved here. Or exist. Actually, wait, I, I was born on 2005, so yeah. Okay. I wasn't born in 2015, I was born in 2005. If I was born in 2015, I'd be young. Seriously, it'd probably be free. Like, <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, yeah, this game actually did get a lot of hate. And, like, the only reason of why I'm getting it is because of the collector's edition. I mostly want that helmet. Which, yeah, and also, like, things got so bad that Obsidian and her, again, that's another word I can't say, say correctly. Like, Obsidian, Obsidian, ah, you know, I'm just going to say Obsidian. So, Obsidian Entertainment, ah, which actually has some of the people who made the original first two Follow games are actually working on a, another game. Which is basically, um, it, it's basically, just imagine Fallout, but in space. It's called The Outer Worlds. And apparently on Twitter, someone from Obsidian, probably someone who worked on original Fallout, actually used the tripler to flip off Bethesda. Which, 
guy who did that, good, good job. Good, just, good, just good job. As much as I like Bethesda, I don't, I don't like the direction this game has gone to. But, but hey, that's probably how it goes. But yeah. So yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for more. And I'll see you. Or see you all guys later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye.